Hello, everyone, and welcome to this coffee lecture. My name is Kerstin Driesing. I am a lecturer for intercultural awareness at the JLU Center for Competence Development. Thank you for inviting me to give this short lecture on navigating German academic culture. Why should you invest 15 minutes of your time to listen to this talk? If you are an international student in Germany, you may be familiar with some of the issues shown on this slide. They come with every academic stay abroad. Today, I would like to highlight some of the most crucial ones in the context of academic adjustment. First, you will find yourself in a completely different academic system with different learning and teaching styles, which are circled red here. Second, you are likely to face language and communication problems, especially with your fellow students in student teams and with professors. These are circled yellow here. Why is that so? Because not only is it a new cultural environment in a different country to which you need to adapt to, but the university itself is a cultural space to be discovered and conquered step by step. And that is by no means a trivial task. Here's the overview of the lecture. Today, we will explore the star of values and the star of academic values models, along with user-friendly tools provided by JLU. The star of values model sets the stage for understanding cultural differences, while its academic counterpart sheds light on diverse teaching and learning approaches. With the freely accessible JLU tools, you will engage in reflective exercises to grasp your academic imprint. Moreover, we will discuss practical strategies on navigating the landscape of German academic culture using these models and tools. So let's embark on a short sailing journey to enhance your intercultural understanding and further your development in the academic environment at JLU. It is well known among, in, among interculturalists that diverse cultural imprints rooted in our values often lead to misunderstandings. Interculturalists focus on guiding individuals to construct bridges between varied value orientations. I would like to introduce you to the Stars of Values, a model that illuminates differences in cultural values. Many other models aim to compare different cultural settings along specific behavioral dimensions. These approaches would also describe a cultural setting as rather homogeneous, whereas the star of values is designed to be more open and flexible to differences within cultural settings. This is a unique advantage of the star of values model. This tool invites reflection on the continuum between interconnected poles of values. What makes it truly convincible is its inherent design that already embodies the intercultural bridge, which is essential for fostering understanding and cooperation. Let me share a tool created by Juliane Sommer, a fellow JLU colleague who created it for use in gamified teaching. We integrated it into the ILIAS repository accessible in the public learning content space of JLU's faculties, departments, and research centers. Housed within the chapter of our Center for Competence Development and in its subcategory diversity awareness, this tool offers an engaging way to explore the star of values. By using this tool, you will learn more about the star of values and will be able to map out your individual value perspective. This will help you to gain clarity on what drives your actions and decisions. And these are aspects often hidden from our consciousness. Recognizing this helps you to understand that people from diverse backgrounds may have different perspectives. Such awareness 
can prevent potential misunderstandings and conflicts. Let me give you an example. Sophia is a student of transition management in her first semester at JLU. Using the Star of Values, she discovers that she values group loyalty and prefers explicit verbal communication as crucial means of information exchange. Sophia enjoys cooking elaborate meals, spontaneously inviting guests and sharing time during meals. Having recently moved into a student dorm, she has invited her roommates several times to join her for meals. But why do they consistently decline her invitations, opting to eat alone in their rooms in front of the TV? Seeking clarification, Sophia approaches one of her roommates, Mohammed, who shares her preference for explicit communication. Mohammed explains that the others may be rejecting her invitations because they feel it's their personal freedom to eat alone, even making them uncomfortable with invitations. He suggests using the notice board in the hall to invite everyone to come and cook together on weekends. Finally, Sophia realizes that her roommate's behavior is not intended to hurt her feelings. So far, Sophia's life as a dorm student. Remember how I said earlier that international students are not only challenged by everyday life in a different country, but the university itself is also a cultural space to be discovered and understood step by step. So let's continue our journey here. Now that you're familiar with the star of values, understanding the star of academic values and traditions becomes a straightforward task. This visualization, inspired by research from Gwen Hiller and Adelheid Schumann, and this is presentation, pre presenting the star, um, it is following the presentation like the star of values. This presentation sheds light on the challenges faced by international students in adapting to diverse academic learning and teaching styles. Hillers and Schumann's findings reveal significant differences not only between countries' academia, but also within the same educational system. For instance, many German students find the transition to university life overwhelming as they are confronted with a new expectation of self-organized and self-directed study. Unlike in high school, where they may have focused on learning by heart, at university they are now expected to formulate their own perspective on a given topic and generate original research questions when taking up a degree program in the humanities. But this may be different in the engineering or natural science fields. Similar to the Star of Values, Juliane Sommer translated the identified findings into a user-friendly tool for reflection. This tool, however, may need a bit more detailed explanation compared to the first model. The continuum of connection and separation shows the extent to which research and practice are linked in an academic environment. In Germany, there is a prevalent educational idea of research-based learning, while in France, for example, these academic domains tend to be institutionally separate. The distinction between focus on teachers and focus on students focuses the scope of a monological teaching style and teacher expertise versus a dialogical teaching approach and collaborative learning. The latter, by the way, predominates widely in Germany. Discourse versus knowledge examines the recognition of students as equal partners in learning and research, or rather as recipients of information. So which of the two would be dominant in your field of study and institutional background? Finally, acquisition and dissemination sheds a light on whether independent critical thinking or respect to authority is more valued in the academic setting. As an education graduate, 
I have had the experience of being encouraged to think critically during my studies in both Germany and Australia. But I was a student in the turn of the millennium, so that may have changed over time. To demonstrate how self-reflection with a star of academic values might be beneficial, I'll, show, I'll share two examples with you. Example one shows a study experience in English language and literature at a Hungarian university in 1989. The student observed rather a separation between research and practical elements, noting a teacher-centered teaching style with an emphasis on students as recipients of authority expertise. Example two displays a student's experience in the field of cultural studies at a Brazilian university in 2018. So in the humanities too, but in a different country on a different continent and 20 years later. This student experienced a learning and teaching style that tightly intertwined research and practice, emphasizing dialogical teaching, valuing students as research partners and encouraging critical thinking. It's crucial to note that these examples reflect personal observations, not validated data that should or could be generalized. Nonetheless, these examples highlight a key lesson. Academic teaching and learning don't follow universal global standards. Rather, they are adaptable constructs that evolve over time and across the globe. Beyond all that, beyond discussing values and culture, let me underscore that not every interaction is based exclusively on cultural factors. Our cultural and academic values represent just one facet influencing interpersonal communication. Irritations in cross-cultural communication may also arise from different perceptions of one another on a personal level from the situational context and from the institutional environment. So if we want to improve effective communication beyond cultural attributions and considerations, we should always bear in mind to keep our eyes open for yet another perspective on what appears to be already understood. Now let's return to the outset of this lecture. How can the tools that I've presented help you to navigate German academic culture? Firstly, cultural learning is always built on self-awareness of your own imprint. So use these Ilias tools to grasp your own imprint as a starting point. Enter this reflection by sharing your insights with fellow students, be they national or international. Engaging in these discussions will deepen your understanding of diverse backgrounds and needs. Last of all, in an ideal scenario, initiate conversations on this topic with your, and with, about your personal findings with your academic mentors and lecturers. Then maybe another surprise awaits. Some of your lecturers may not have undergone such reflection you might offer them an opportunity to learn, learn about their own academic imprint and learn how to embrace teaching and learning styles beyond their own. And this was cor would correspond perfectly to the German academic ideal of a research-based and critically thinking style of learning and teaching. So let me resume this lecture with a new saying, Become the captain of your academic cruise instead of staying a sailor tossed around by the winds of differing cultural values. Thank you for listening.